Okay, I just put some baking soda in that to see what it would do. I'm gonna put more baking soda and see what it'll do. It doesn't turn black and it's not turning to specks. It's like getting brighter, it seems like. Okay, so obviously it's not baking soda and this, it's something in that flour. And all I did was put a little bit of, um... so you know what, let's go ahead and do that. Just common sense says, oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of water. Okay, let's see what's happening there. Okay, let's mix it, see what happens, okay. Obviously the fat and stuff. Okay, now we're gonna put the flour in and then we're gonna see what happens. I bought this at Walmart in the organic, whatever, like the flour and stuff by Arrowhead Mills, I guess, organic. Now I'm gonna take some of the flour and I'm gonna put it in and see what happens. Okay. I'm not seeing any black specks. Okay, so why are there tons of black specks over there if, if there's no black specks in here? Okay, how is that making sense that it's not turning black? That does not make sense. Now I did put this, the oil, on top of the flour first, and then I added baking soda around the flour, in the flour, and then I combined it, but then it started making those black specks. So how does that make sense? It's not, am I leaving something out here? No. That, okay, that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna mix this off. That I'm suspecting bleak magicians are behind this. I do have bleak magicians. I'm told by all my psychics that are doing things. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's what happened. Um Maybe that is what happened. That's the only thing I can figure out. How could this have tons of black specks in it? Okay, I'm gonna do another test. I'm going to, let's see. I'm gonna do another bowl. And put this over here. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing and see what happens. Not a bowl, I'm gonna do a plate. Okay, yes, we're gonna do a plate. Okay, this is what I did. I put about six scoops of, four to six scoops of flour. I dropped this some on just like that. And then I, let's see, just did that. And Let's see, and then I, you know, I just dropped a little bit of baking soda right there. And then I started mixing it with these spoons. Oh, and a little water. Well, actually I started mixing it like this with these spoons, okay? Just like this, okay? All throughout it. And then, no black specks so okay so this is proving to me so far might be because of bleak magic magicians okay now we're gonna add a little bit of water it's a bit amount because I'm just trying to make a dough so I could uh, put something in the dough close it like a uh, Russian uh, like a Russian uh, pastry you know that has potatoes in it and all I was doing is doing this that's all I was doing this, this is it, this is exa I'm duplicating exactly, but in a bowl. So how did it get black specks? Okay, how? 
if it's not doing it now before you, how is it that that has black specks in it? How? And, okay, why aren't there any black specks? I, why aren't there any black specks now? Okay, so that says to me, let me go rinse my hands off, that the bleak magician, what I'm warned about, is doing their thing. Wow. Okay, because you're seeing it right there. That's all I did. So if that's all I did, right, there's that, that's baking soda only and a little bit of water and the red palm oil. How does it get black specks in it all over it then? If, if I did the same steps, all those black spots, all those black specks, how? I even kept the sample, how? Tell me how. Okay, that I guess it's just, you know, like I said, bleak magicians, because there's no black specks forming. None. None. And here's some Celtic sea salt. I just put it in here. I'm gonna put some Celtic sea salt on here. Just a teeny little sprinkle and see what happens. Okay, I don't see anything happening. I don't see anything happening. No black specks, so. All I can deduce with common sense, common sense science is, there is something preternatural, supernatural, and dark that happened to me again to make all these black specked, whatever this is, inside of here to scare me and freak me out. So, yeah. Look at that. All, look at that. Oh my God, now, now the black specks are like ink. Look at that. Is it because I'm saying this? What the hell? You're seeing this before your eye. There's like ink on there. What the hell? Look at that. It's like kind of like a blood brown. I'm not trying to scare you, but it is. Look, look at that. I'm not gonna exaggerate. I will never exaggerate to you, ever. This past life detective that my psychic told me in 2003, sorry, 23, last year, she says, you were a detective. Sorry, but that looks like blood. That looks like blood. That's, what the hell. So, and it's funny how I'm saying, oh, it must be a bleak magicians that I was told that are always messing with me, so now it's doing the blood thing, really? But yet it didn't do it right here. Okay, you're witnessing that. So, you're witnessing it. Something was telling me to go and do this in front of y'all. So you would see, I don't lie, I don't exaggerate, but it is making like a blood on there. Those black specks are making like a blood. Yep. So I believe it's supernatural, preternatural, because I just did the same thing in front of you in these tests and black stuff didn't start happening. So, and now it's like blood-ish ink that's coming off on the plastic. Cause I said, oh, I'll put it in here. Yeah, so, okay, I'm gonna go with that. That is demonic. I'm sure if I had a demonologist, world famous demonologist, they would agree or an exorcist, they would agree. Okay, I just wanted to show you the proof that I don't lie, I'm not gonna exaggerate. Nope, I'm not doing that ever for anyone. Absolutely not. Wow, and that's spreading. Look how that's breaking down and spreading. It's like the brown, when I say blood, and now I'm saying, oh, the bleak magicians probably did this like the psychics say. They've been saying, the six psychics have been saying this about the bleak magicians in my life. And you're witnessing it. Oh, they must have done that? Yeah, they did. Look at that. How is it expanding? How is it like blooding and melting? No. Don't think so. Don't think so. Don't think so. That's okay. I'm protected by First Light Ma, and so are you guys. 
I'm protected by First Light Ma and all the benevolent dragons and archangels and angels, males and females and ascended masters, gods. Yep. So no worries. All right. Bye, guys.